Hi, this is Neil from Zig, part of a new series. We're going to start looking at different creative tools and how you can use them, find the best ones that match your workflow. Today, we're going to look at Envision Studio. Envision Studio is in beta right now. You can sign up for it at Envision. They will send you a link and you can download it. We just got ours the other day. Envision is an excellent UI tool. It also gives you the benefit of prototyping. And it's hooked up to all of Envision's cloud services. Basically, what you start doing when you're building an interface in Envision is you start by building components. Reusable components that you can use throughout your interfaces. Here what I'm doing is creating a simple version of Zig Mobile. It has two tabs at the top and a contact list, as well as several other components for navigating around the interface. Zig has a number of communication and task management tools that we are trying to put into a mobile interface. So you'll see those later. What I'm going to concentrate on here is just creating the baseline components for what I need for this one interface. And then I'll show you the other components I build later and how we link them together. Envision Studio allows us to have multiple nested components. So we can have things like text components nested within contact lists. We can have avatars. We can have all kinds of things in nested trees that we can then draw on and modify whenever we need them to. Again, this is not necessarily different from what anything else does. Uh, if you look at something like Figma or Sketch or even Adobe XD, the difference is that Envision also has really good prototyping and it's connected to all of Envision's other tools. Studio does a really nice job here, and it's really simple navigation to understand what you're doing in your design view versus what you're doing building out your component library. Animation and prototyping in Envision Studio could not be simpler, and quite frankly, it works really, really well. Basically, what you have to do is you create multiple screen versions with all your elements, and then you link those screen versions together. You can create hotspots, you link up those hotspots to another screen, it automatically figures out how your components are moving, what their relative position is, and generates the animation between those component positions for you. So when you go and demo it, uh, and you can do that by pressing the play button in the top right hand corner, it will show you everything that you've linked up and how your click through prototype operates. The animation is very slick, it works with layers really, really easily. Uh, it's really easy to understand from a design point of view, and it's also really editable at any time, as you notice. Once you set up an animation, it also allows you to open up keyframes in a timeline, which will let you adjust the rate of animation. So you can adjust easing, you can make animation linear, whatever you feel like is the best result for what you are trying to achieve is really, really easy to do. It's a really excellent tool, very promising. Right now, just the beta, so there are some issues, but I encourage you to try it and sign up.